One of our first tapings in Europe was in Sion, Switzerland. Found in the Rhone Valley high atop a hill stands an ancient fortress church, which houses the oldest playable organ in the world, dating back to the 1400s. We had to trudge to the top of the hill by foot with all our music and television equipment, which in those days was quite heavy and cumbersome. Today we are in the beautiful country of Switzerland, and we find ourselves in one of the oldest cathedrals in this country. And behind me stands the oldest playable organ in the world. I am very fortunate also to have with me today the man that has been in charge of the organ and in charge of the restoration of the organ, Mr. Maurice Wenger. Welcome, Mr. Maurice Wenger. Enchanté, madame. Perhaps you could Tell us a little bit about the cathedral itself. How old is it? Eh bien, nous avons dans cette cathédrale euh, deux styles essentiels. The first part is Romanesque and goes, goes back to the 11th and 12th centuries. Et la partie principale the main part of the cathedral was built in the 13th century and is Gothic. So there are beautiful uh, frescoes and paintings also in the church, which date back to the 14th century. Oui, les fresques sont du Yes, 14th and 15th century. When was the organ built? The first part was built in the late 1300s. It was made larger later. Many, many years later, there were other stops added to the organ. I know, Mr. Wenger, that you were in charge of the restoration of the organ. And, and isn't it true that before that time, the organ had not played for 100 years? Yes, that's exact. I think it would be very interesting, Mr. Wenger, if we talked about the keyboards and the stops of the organ, because they are very ancient and they are unlike all of our modern instruments. D'autre part, vous avez ce qu'on appelle. We have a short octave on the bottom. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. Yes. In other words, it is different than modern keyboards in that it goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C.
I understand that the organ is now electrified, but why don't we go back and see how the wind used to get into the pipes? Would you show us? Three. My goodness, look at these. These are bellows. Oui, c'est le soufflet, le ancien soufflet de l'orgue. Donc, il n'est plus en fonction maintenant parce que nous avons, comme vous le dites, électrifié cet instrument. Tout d'abord, pour commodité, pour les concerts, ce ne serait pas impensable de oui. travailler avec cela. The organ is electrified now. Exactement. How long has it been electrified? Alors, il y a 30 ans maintenant que ça a été 30 électrifié. 30 ans, 30 years. Oui, il y a 30 ans. But Mais before that, they used the bellows. On avait ceci avant, évidemment, il fallait avec ce A man would come, a man on each one of these long poles, and would come at the same time, were they going down? Non, un après l'autre. Oh, one and then the other. Oui, vous le remplissez d'air. And the air would go into the bellows. Et quand il est à peu près à l'horizontale, Mm -hmm. Il a le temps de préparer le deuxième. I see. So when this one was horizontal, Mais le problème est de le laisser glisser dedans au même rythme de celui-là. So there must be the proper rhythm of the two men and they had to be horizontal at the same time. Oui, exactement. So they could have an equal amount of air going into the pipe oui. so it did not die at any oui, time. Oui, oui, c'est ça. Ah. And so when it got to the bottom, then they let it up very slowly. Exactement, ça monte très lentement. Ça dépend tout du nombre de registres que vous avez. It employez. made a difference how many stops they had ah, pulled oui, si on the organ. Ah oui, si vous prenez sept jeux, if you a, have two stops, alors il y aura plus vite l'air qui partira, n'est-ce pas? Ah yes, so so you must get air into the pipes quickly. Exactement, mm -hmm. ça joue un rôle. Yes, I want to thank you so much, Mr. Wenger, for allowing us to come to this beautiful old cathedral in Sion, Switzerland and to allow us to see and play the oldest playable organ in the world.